perhaps myself and Stephen, though he knows what I'm doing, and reading a couple of poems I wrote to slash for him about 25 or something years ago. Um, and uh, he hasn't heard me read them. I think I've only shown you one of them, the longer one. And um, yeah, so anyway, thanks Stephen for the poetry oh, and the friendship. I'm glad to be alive at the same time. This one is called Stephen. In his eyes, the open look of an old fairness, serving in company, leading if alone. So you feel he has found and heard regions of you you hardly knew existed given them time, while in his softness, sorry, while in his voice, a softness you must concentrate on to be pulled into the same attention he gives, making your ears into minds and the tongue a humble translator of souls. And this one's called, a little bit longer, called Voices. Just one page. You surrounded yourself with voices, the voices of streets and strugglers, the voices of children and seas and shepherds, the voices of mineral and fruit peel, drying and twisting into fantastic songs, Voices of years of empty wine bottles whose green homes contain the air of our hearts, the heaviness of our hearts, too. You surrounded yourself with voices. The voices of assembled eggshells tiptoed upon each other so they shriek in comfort. The voices of soap cartons and tea cartons whispering with their first human touch, those workers and survivors who found a kind of rest with you, but have yet to really rest, dispersing into forgetful fires. You surrounded yourself with voices, your chinks of floor tile crackling out micro symphonies when we step on them. The voice of dust that paints photos or the small worlds that gather on stairs made of paper bits and coins, stresses and stairs, listenings, nutshells, cork, islands, wind. You've surrounded yourself to live. You surrounded yourself with voices, the voices of a half-life of books and the voices of many more inside them the walks you took after hearing one, crisscrossing and collecting layers of ourselves in bags of finished and unfinished days, and you bringing back an east-ended voice to sip tea, tears, laughter, dreams. You surrounded yourself with voices, but you're no puppet master, no. You only made room inside your wide ear, becoming hours of wind that sweep the world back from forth from back, letting our scattered lives meet someday, bringing any language and its mother together, wishing it was so. Thank you. 